Hey guys, welcome to Flies and Fabrics. I am Simire, and if you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for passing by, and I hope you subscribe. And if you've been here always and forever, thank you for always supporting me and following through my journey of YouTube. I know I've been a, I've been gone, but listen, honey, let's catch up, okay? Before we get into today's topic, let's catch up because there are so many things to catch up on. First of all, let's start with me. I, as you look at me right now, I got myself another job. So now I got two jobs, which is why I haven't really been active because I got myself another job to to manage my candle business and other expenses. You, you know, a girl got bills to pay. Um, so, and it's so natural for me every time I feel like, oh, oh my God, my economy is not, you know, is not where it's supposed to be. I always figure out a way to just manage. And this time on, I have a new job. I have a part-time job and I have a full-time job, which means that there is so much time for YouTube, but I will do my best because I love it. I love it here. I love being creative. I love talking about all kinds of things, fashion, and I'm not traveling so much this year, but next year, 2025 is going to be the year when we are traveling. I promise you I'll give you some traveling content because there is still a little girl in me that would love to see the world and of course she will. Um, yeah, so that's me. That's my update and that's why I have been MIA for the last two weeks and also I am still planning my full wedding which is why today's topic as you can see on the title is wedding guests and before we get into that let's you know quickly touch up on what's been happening okay Beyonce came out with her new album like hello um, and I got the chance to listen to it I remember I was in my bed when um, it got premiered, it was on the 29th, had been at work, had been back to back with work and I got to listen to it in my bed all by myself. That's what, like, the best time I can focus and be in tune with so many things is when I'm in my bed, just minding my own business, nobody's calling, nobody's texting, just me, my bed and my salty too. I love it. I just love it. Anyways, um, before that, um, I had been at work, yes. And then I got to listen to the album. Not the biggest fan. I not a like I'm not into country. Like I said the last video when we were talking about spring fashion. Um it, it's going to be a thing. Like I told you and like I said before, um jeans, cowboy hats, whatever has anything cowboy-esque is going to be a thing this summer. We're going to see different variations of you know like the cowboy culture we might as well call it cowboy uh core we just had the mob wife we had the baby core we had so many themes but now beyonce is here to just say we are all going to wear cowboy hats and we're go all going to have like some line dance or whatever so that's it um and my friend i just love jeans i love my levices like we've talked about i love you know, I love a good pair of jeans. I really do. I really do. I really do. I feel cute and my booty looks bootylicious in jeans and that's about it. Um, anything denim right now is on trend. So get yourself something denim and you'll be fine. Okay? Now, on to today's topic. We are talking about, about wedding guests. And um, it's been a topic that I've been wanting to talk about for so long because I live in Denmark and in Denmark, the the theme of um being a wedding guest and then and, and what you should wear like the dress code is not really a thing that we do here um you just come as you are uh, meaning if you have a really nice dress you bought on a vacation in italy somewhere just wear that at a wedding like that one dress that you never really used to any other work functions you just wear that like the, we don't we don't really um, put any emphasis in you know all these titles that are like I'm going to explore today um, but some do and and also some people have themed parties and like 
themed wedding parties so you would automatically get like an invitation that described the theme why can i not pronounce theme 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 of the wedding so uh yeah but to be completely um you know in tune with what it means when people ask for dress code because i did have some you know some friends not from denmark asking like well what's the dress code and everything and i i remember i had to address that and i was like oh i i didn't think about that but this time i came prepared and um in my wedding invitation that i will be doing tonight um i will have a uh, dress code and I, I am much so of a dress code why because i love fashion obviously i want my people to look the best i want to feel i want them to feel the best i want them to you know like everything should be a vibe at this wedding and that's why we are talking about wedding guests and also because i would be very very upset if i happen to see someone wearing jeans at my wedding like i did not put so much work into this party for you to come wearing jeans and sneakers or flip-flops and shorts when I did not ask for it. Like, yes, we can have a cowboy themed party, but it's not my party. Mm -mm. I am the type of person who's like, go big or go home. Whereas my husband is like, come as you are. Okay, we'll have fun regardless. And I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> but luckily most of our friends they're very dressy like i when we had uh you know our traditional wedding um all our guests was flashy and very dressy so i'm not worried about not even having a dress code i just at this time on i want to i want people to really feel like you know like they're like they're on some next level shit like this does not happen every you know every now and then you know so that's that's the kind of um ambience that i'm looking for with this um dress code and for that i was like researching okay so how do you describe it in a wedding invitation and that's what how i stumble upon um these dress codes and a little disclaimer um it's like i said here in denmark we really don't do it and i i i, I feel like there are so many places in the world where uh, dress code looks completely different or they don't have it at all this is much like it's it's more like of a western thing or just in general like take it with a grain of salt that's what i'm trying to say because it also has something to do with like what kind of culture you have religion like there are so many um aspects of um of a wedding so this does not you know overrule everything when it comes to dress codes remember that that's so important anyway so yeah let's start there is what white tie and this is a like think about the royalties like think about the queens and the kings and whatever like gowns and you know like that and uh, as far as i could read um it is not something that is um used very much like you wouldn't see a wedding with white a, a white tight wedding mm -mm, it's not a thing so no don't worry about that now black tie on the other hand is like less um you know less dramatic um than a white tie you know but you still have to dress your best black tie is basically the same as white tie but a little bit a notch down so we still have like these floor length gowns and you know like big like big um very expensive fabric uh on the lady and on the guy i had to actually write it down um men they wear a tuxedo like with um a white shirt and a bow tie and it's a black tuxedo like you do not mm -mm, black tuxedo like um with a white shirt and a coordinating bow tie um and suspenders maybe and dressy shoes and just from top to toe you're going to look mm, okay so that's like that's a black tie for you um 
And typically when they say black tie, you would expect that this event is going to be held in the evening. That's why we have the gowns, we have like all the heavy fabric, it's in the evening, yeah? You know, like 90% of the time. So yeah, when they say black tie, this is what they mean. Um, um, and then we have formal. Formal, like there are so many people who misunderstand this. Um, formal, and I used to, as well when they say formal it doesn't mean that you come in in your cocktail dress no mm -mm. Mm -mm. we're still on the floor length dresses um that are very you know like eloquent exquisite um uh type of uh dress and then the fabric is like we have satin we have organza we have silk we have chiffon like think about that that's formal okay still floor length and it, it has less gravitas um than um than the one that we're talking when we're talking about bl uh, black tie the dress so yeah a bit more like relaxed but not really we still we're still on the dramatic side yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then we have semi-formal um formal but <laughs> with a little bit of pizzazz. That's what they call like, um, you know, like cocktail, cocktail hours or cocktail dresses. That's why you pull out your cocktail dress. Your dress may be, you know, a bit shorter, down, right down to your knees, right down to the calves. Like, you know, you get the zizz, okay? You can wear your tight fitting dress or whatever you feel like it. Um, where um, men, can you know judge it up with color in their uh, suits uh, and it's still when I'm saying formal men your suit is still tailored I hate if there is a pet peeve of mine is a guy wearing a suit that doesn't fit his figure like let's take a moment for that like whether your suit is too big or too small I just my friend go and get yourself a suit i i have i can count I, I feel like i've had so many videos where i mention what a really good tailor suit does to your body your uh presentation and your body like it does everything okay so yeah uh get yourself a tailored suit whether it's formal or semi-formal cocktail hours just get yourself a really nice suit and when we're talking about uh semi formal slash cocktail we like for the guy it's very playful you can wear you know you can wear your your uh, laid back shirt and you can have a you know like a, an open blazer um whatever just as long as it's still like very dressy and and not messy and then we have casual the last one my least favorite <laughs> casual calm as you are um and here like you can it, 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 it here there are two things you need to um uh notice whether it's the location and the uh what did i write here it's the location and the time of, of the you know of the day so like, you can wear a skirt you can wear shorts men can wear polos and chinos and you know like just dress casually um, according to the theme of the wedding according to the day according to the venue like just follow the instructions of the wedding yeah and so that's casual and and you can wear here as, as a female as a lady um, it's okay to wear flats but for the other parts that I've mentioned right here please wear heels please wear comfortable shoes that just gives you an elegant posture <laughs> you know and an elegant walk you are at a wedding okay carry yourself nicely um, for your own sake but also for the wedding couple you know you you want to be a part of something great and beautiful and you want to look your best so i am here to tell you like these are some of the things um some of the dress codes that you would normally expect from 
you know whoever is inviting you to their wedding and the last one which is very very special to me is the traditional um, dress code so if you get invited to a wedding where they say listen um, we have a traditional wedding whether it's you know um, whether it's from Mexico or it's from India or it's from Rwanda like there are so many different traditions so uh, when they invite you they might as well say that you you have to wear a certain you know a certain uh, a garment uh, to fit in uh, with the theme of the wedding uh, so that that's that's easy at my traditional wedding i actually made my some of my um my guests wear my you know my traditional attire and it was it was really nice to see people just show up and also excited to wear something that they haven't worn before to a wedding so that's my favorite too right up there with the black tie and formal like if I had to say, like most of the time, if you're com you're if you're confused or in doubt, just be just go with formal. Formal is uh, like a lot of people again, uh, a lot of us kind of confuse it with the cocktail casual dress, you know. So you would see people just wearing like a uh, flats and some summer dress and whatever. No, 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 no. Make sure that you know the exact you know um theme of the wedding before you just start wearing all kinds of stuff okay make sure your suit is tailored make sure that your high heels are not itching and tweaking and stuff like that um and just go with the flow um <laughs> as one good person said once so yeah those were some of the theme some of the dress codes that we often see at weddings um and also if you're in doubt ask the couple or um the family of the couple that are getting married what is the theme so you don't show up in jeans i was to i attended at a wedding once um maybe i think i've been to two weddings where i spotted people wearing jeans and i was like this is so disrespectful why would you wear jeans you wear jeans every single day is that your most <laughs> most beautiful outfit ever um i was so so appalled like why why would you do that um so always when in doubt ask someone you might know someone who's attending the wedding with you ask them instead of just you know going to i don't know target and uh purchasing something that is not wedding friendly um yeah so so just to repeat most of the time it's formal you will see formal black tie is when the wedding you know like the wedding is next level if you're invited to a black tie wedding party okay and then there is semi formal which is cocktail where we are like very ja, ja, we're showing more shoulders we're showing more skin and everything um and then there is casual where we are a bit more relaxed and can let go and um you know depending on the weather and the theme and the day and everything um and then we have the traditional part which you know says itself so those were some of the things um that i learned along the way as wedding guests um and if you're bold enough you will let your guests know what you want them to wear and i promise you those who understand will come they will go big and those who don't they will try at least you know and that's the beauty of a weddings and i love 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 seeing how people can be creatives with their outfits so it's going to be excited it's going to i'm excited and it's going to be exciting to just see all these colorful people and people just having fun in their best outfit ever anyways um that was it for me and i really hope that um i taught you a thing or two if not, until next time where we talk about more wedding stuff. This time on, it was just the dressing part. I just love it. I just love it. And um, until next time, I've been your girl, Simire. May you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bisous. Bye.